Call me old fashioned, but I always thought being the former vice president of the United States entitled you to a, a minimum amount of respect. Well, not if you're NDP immigration critic Don Davies. Dick Cheney is headed for Canada to promote his memoir, In My Time. But Davies wants him forbidden. Why? War crimes, he says. If only the left would be as tough on the war criminals we've been deporting lately. So who's willing to stand up for Vice President Dick Cheney? None other than Kathy Shadle, the woman behind the blog Five Feet of Fury. Kathy, how much fury are you experiencing over the NDP trying to keep Dick Cheney out of our country? Well, and then there are going to be some protesters who are going to try to arrest him for war crimes. And I'm just relieved that I still have something in common with my old friends on the left. We both have fantasies involving Dick Cheney and handcuffs. Mine are a little uh, different than theirs, however. I imagine, I imagine yeah. they would be, uh, Kathy. Here's, uh, here's what I want to ask about the, the left and the law. Right. I don't understand why, why the left has to use the term uh, war crimes. Everybody on the right and in the middle and on the left and everyone else knows that the left is not short of lawyers. There are no, there, 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 there's no deficit there. They've got lots and lots of lawyers who call themselves civil, civil liberty lawyers and all sorts of other lawyers. So what I don't understand is if they actually had a good legal case against Dick Cheney, they could mount one, even if they mounted it in a moot court. And then they might have some credibility uh, because without that, this NDP -er is just kind of whistling past the ideological graveyard. Well, but you're making the mistake of thinking that this is really about what they say it's about. With the left, it's never what they say it's about. This is all theatrics. Everything these days with them is genocide, war crimes. Uh, everyone is the new Rosa Parks. So they really, these are stunts. And they don't actually want to see any of their uh, ideals put in place because it would leave them unemployed. So. They purposely pick uh, the most hyperbolic things they can think of to say that they know will never happen. That gives them the satisfaction of being martyrs while still looking like they actually care about something. And then they get their names in the paper. So they all have fun and uh, no harm comes to Dick Cheney who's just laughing about this if he knows about it at all. And uh, these aren't serious people. Where will Dick Cheney be going in Canada where the left can gather <laughs> A serious amount of protesters. Well, that's a good question. You know, uh, in my day, we used to put on stunts like this when Brian Mulroney or uh, Ronald Reagan would come to town. And we could get 10,000 people on University Avenue uh, to watch some people with plastic handcuffs 500 yards from the, the convention center pretend to they were going to arrest Brian Mulroney. I can't imagine in this day and age you'd get one one hundredth of that out in Vancouver uh, for something like this. The left is really losing it. These are old, boring theatrics from the 60s. They still chant the same old chants. Uh, they call themselves progressives, but they live in the past. I don't understand it. All right, so essentially the reason they're going after Cheney is because, well, for one, Cheney's an American, uh, two, right. he's an American Republican, right. and three, he was part of uh, the, the prosecution of the Iraq War, which was a horrible thing. The left would much rather have Saddam Hussein in power right now giving acid baths uh, to his critics. That's right. And don't forget Halliburton, the magic word Halliburton. If you ask 100 of these leftists what Halliburton is, they would have no idea. It's just a curse word. And he's somehow connected with Halliburton. And uh, so and, and they just they just don't like him. They call him Darth Vader, which I think he finds amusing uh, from what I understand. So uh, again, this is just this is just theatrics. I can't take people like this seriously when there are serious issues that you would think they would care about. They're putting on fake uh, you know, theatrical arrest demonstrations and talking about war crimes. And they just know that this is a joke. So uh, they are just reduced to doing nothing but pulling practical jokes. And uh, it's no wonder that the left is really losing support because they aren't serious people. <laughs> Right. I forgot to mention George Bush, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Dick George Cheney Bush, represents yeah. George W. Bush. Oh, of course. And you say George W. Bush, and yeah. it's, like a, it's like a dog whistle to, to let oh, them go. Incredible. They go out, out of their minds. You yeah. know, it, it is difficult for them to mount any kind of protest. Today, the, the XL Pipeline uh, protest in Ottawa 
Uh, they were anticipating thousands of people <laughs> showing up. They might have gotten a, a couple of hundred there. Right. This is not really a protest country, is it, Kathy? No, it really isn't. I mean, back in the day, like I said, we could pull it off, but that was because there was a worldwide uh, nuclear disarmament movement that was, uh, you know, captured in song and story. And uh, people have protest fatigue. This, as you say, Canada not really a protesting country, although it would be interesting if someone did want to put on a Tea Party thing at, at uh, you know, in Ottawa. I think people would be surprised. And, of course, as we know, the biggest protests in Canada every year are always pro-life demonstrations, which are conveniently not reported on by the CBC and CTV, even though they get maybe the biggest numbers of people every year coming out. So they didn't really happen according to the official media. Kathy, since we keep hearing that the NDP is at some point trying to mainstream itself, do you think it will let go of these marginal protest movements? I can't imagine because at the end of the day, this really is their base. So if you get rid of your base, you know, I, I don't know that much about electoral politics, but I do know that you can't just cut your base away like that and send them floating away. Uh, people like me, who no matter what the NDP did, probably would never vote for them just because of their brand, uh, would be upset about that. Their base would abandon them uh, very angrily, I assume. So I don't think that'll ever happen. Kathy Shadle, thank you so much. Thanks. Kathy Shadle and her blog is Five Feet of Fury.